Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube channel, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to do the direct remove outfit glitch as of patch 1.5 Now to start off this glitch what you're going to want to do is load up in story mode as any character, no matter which one Oh, it's not a cigarette? No, once you have Find my center before I practice. Mode, not which character, what you're going to want to do is hold touchpad, interaction menu. And you're going to want to go to direct remote. Once in direct mode, what you're going to want to do is shortlist both your GTA Online character and the crew. Once you have done this, you may exit back to story mode and head over to online session. So load up an online session. Preferably an invite only, makes it easier if no one kills you. Once you have loaded back into GT Online, what to this doing is heading over to an outfit store. Any outfit store you know, to the outfit store. Once you have arrived at an outfit store, Welcome. go to the outfit section of the outfit store. Go to the outfit standard and pick any standard outfit. Once you have done this, hold the interaction menu. You and what won't you want, find to, those want to do is style accessories. Go right once on gear and back again to remove any accessory that you have on. Now as you can see I have the standard is where you parachute back. This is so it makes the outcome of the outfits and the character movements. Better. So to do this, you just want to go to any gun store and go to the parachute section and touch the really gun store we have and then flip it through the interaction menu. Now once you have done this, you're going to want to go to the time trial. Now it doesn't matter if it's different for you, it does change Now, once you have arrived at the time trial, what you're going to want to do is to go on top of it until the pop-up appears in the top left, so you press right on deep and start time trial. What you're going to want to do is press right. Now what I like to do is wait 5 seconds for the time. Once it's 5 seconds, switch to any story mode character. Once in story mode, what you're going to want to do is hold the touchpad, open up interaction menu, go to direct mode. And once you have loaded into direct mode, what you're going to want to do is head over to your shortlisted characters that you shortlisted earlier. And what you're going to want to do is hold up or down the thumbstick and you should see your birds duplicating now to make this easier because it will take about 25 to 30 minutes what i like to do is tie a rubber band around the left thumbstick and just wait till you see your online character glitch onto the haystack be back in a moment Now, once your character has 
glitched on top of the hay bale. You want to lay over duplicate birds. So let just just like this. You want to let change through the characters a couple more times. So about 10 to 15 times, so it can over duplicate the birds and make sure this glitch actually works. Once you have over duplicate the birds, what you want to do is hover over the crow in your shortlist and you want to press the triangle or what the button is to remove it on Xbox is and you want to remove the crow. Once you have done this, you want to back out, go to actors, beach bums, hover over bodybuilder and press square. And if done correctly, you should see that your characters is are going to change and have modded outfits. From here on what you want to do is change the appearance of the characters until you find one that has a Christmas mask and only a Christmas mask as any other mask won't allow you to bring the character from the direct mode into online. Now once you have found your desired outfit, I'm going to be using this as an example, you're going to just want to shortlist it, back out, go back to shortlist actors, hover over the one you just shortlisted and bring it into direct mode. Now one key important note is that you have to ensure that you don't have any blacklisted items on your character otherwise when you bring it onto online it will just switch back to a standard outfit so once you have loaded into director mode walk about for a bit for about three seconds once you have walked about load up into story mode once you have loaded back into story mode you should if done correctly you should see that your character, your story mode character, has the modded outfit that you selected. Once you have loaded into story mode, you just want to wait another five seconds to walk about. Once you have waited about five seconds, you're going to want to load up an online invite early session. Once you have loaded up into online, you should see that your character has spawned without the Christmas mark, which means you have done the glitch correctly and you should have your modded outfit. Once you have done so, you want to enter a vehicle and just head over to any clothing store on the map. Once you have arrived at a clothing store, enter it. Press right in the in part of the section. Press square to edit saved outfits. And go ahead and save this in any slot of your choosing. And boom, as you can see, you now have modded Thanks. outfits. Hope you have a great day. If you enjoyed, please press the like button and subscribe for post notifications on further videos like this. You can use this glitch to get the blue, white, red, any color joggers you want. Peace.